Good morning, Quadcopter 101 here. What I got for you today is another flight of my Tarantula X6 Quadcopter. Um, what I am going to do today, I don't know if you notice it or not, it's probably very obvious, is that I've built a anti, an anti-vibration platform for my Mobius camera. Um, it's very easy to build one of these. All you need is some wooden dowels. Actually, I used uh, um, disposable chopsticks from one of our local restaurants here, along with some uh, 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 plastic tubing or rubber surgical tubing. I used irrigation tubing since I had just worked on my garden, set up an irrigation system for my garden. Had a lot of this left over, so it's uh, very cheap. I think they sell it at Walmart and Lowe's and Home Depot. Just go down in there, look for your uh, irrigation tubing. It's dirt cheap. Um, and it's very simple to mount a Mobius camera to it. Um, if you look on YouTube, you will find many people showing examples of how to build one of these. Um, I'm not going to go into detail how to do this because it's been done before. Just do a, a YouTube search of uh, Mobius camera and a vibration mount. You should find something very easily. Okay, let's go for a flight of this. I want to see if it works well in reducing jello. What I like about it in particular is it lowers the camera down, hopefully, so that you don't see the propellers in the video. And uh, let's see if that actually okay, works. Okay, I'm setting that so, uh, mountain off in the distance as my reference flight. heading in case I need to go into hyper IOC here, but I doubt it. <laughs> okay, binding the quadcopter. Camera is recording. Let's go for a flight. Now I got a breeze about five miles per hour today coming from the east. In the direction we're pointing right now. So I'm going to send it upwind a bit, gain some altitude, and then put it into hover and do a slow rotate. Right about there. This is the wind pushing it back. Maybe it's a little faster than five mile per hour. Up there at altitude. Okay, going upwind again. I hope this is working out. Uh, I'm up about close to 400 feet. I'm going to keep it under it though. Fantastic range on this quadcopter, by the way. You all know that. <laughs> I said it over and over. This is one of the better quadcopters in the toy range in terms of uh, its transmitter. I don't know of another toy transmitter that has range like this. Just doing a slow rotate at altitude. Nice proportional controller too. Okay, going up one again. That's enough of the high altitude flight. Let's bring it down. And I want to try some uh, low passes around the uh, park here, around the airfield. Showing. Now this airfield is about, I believe it's 550 feet long. So I'm going to go around the whole airfield. A little drop out there because I'm probably uh, Oh hell, I'm way out there. <laughs> I was going away from my from myself. I was probably out about 300 meters there. <laughs> at the outer limits of this uh, quadcopter's range. I accidentally was pointing away from where I thought I was. I thought it was coming toward me, but I was going away. So I started turning it because I wasn't noticing any bearing drift. And sure enough, I was going away. Fantastic range on this quadcopter. Even not way out there. Let's bring it overhead. Full forward pitch. There's a heck of a wind up there. 
and I'm in beginner mode. I'm going to expert. <laughs> There's one big wind up there. I had to go to expert mode to get some forward movement here. I'm a little bit high. Coming back down again. Now, uh, I think most of you have seen my previous video on Hyper IOC function. This thing can actually be used as a return home feature, the headless mode on this quadcopter. Um, actually, I don't want to demonstrate it today. I just want to play with this camera video for today's flight. I'm going to stay focused on the video instead. <laughs> I was just thinking of trying to demonstrate Hyper IOC again, but I think that previous video I did does it well enough. This is a cool quadcopter. <laughs> you know, I liked the V262 when it first came out, but this is better. <laughs> Spectacular range without needing to modify the transmitter. And a return to home feature. And plug in motors. No uh, soldering required for maintenance. And damn, this thing climbs like a banshee when you get a little throttle. So you got to be careful with this thing. This thing will easily bust 400 feet, especially with the range on this transmitter. So be careful, folks. Pulling up wind here. Get some range also. At about 200 meters right now. And then we're going to just hover it in the wind, let it fly overhead, and rotate. As the wind pushes it back to me. Boy, there's different. Huh wind at different altitudes as you go up a little more the wind dies down as you come down a little bit there's like a layer of wind right there that you really got to push into it wind again and wind to hover Again, doing the rotate. There's where that. I'm right at the level where that wind is the fastest. <laughs> and then I climb a little bit more, and then the wind changes direction. Really odd. Okay, going up, upwind again. Okay, and I'm coming down in altitude. I'm going to do some another low, low speed pass down the uh, the field here. or high speed pass down the field going downwind. <laughs> Fantastic quadcopter for the price. Let's try a bank turn. Banking turn. Figure eight over the field. Boy, the wind's right, right at that altitude. I gotta fight it so hard. And we're gonna start a right banking turn here shortly. Starting it now. Let's go around the pylon. 
All my other quad cutters cannot go around that pylon. This one can. <laughs> this one has the range to do it. See if I can go around the other pylon. How's my lights? that pylon or over it at least I think I'm over it now okay I think that's enough flying for today I just wanted to test that flying with my uh, Mobius camera the winds pushing it back that's the wind folks okay I'm going to try to land into the wind so I got to go downwind a bit going back to beginner Oh no, that's super expert. I forgot to go to super expert. <laughs> and bringing it in for a landing. Reducing throttle. Welcome back, Tarantula. Here, let's get some video. I want to get some pictures for uh, the thumbnail. Look at those red eyes on that thing. This is for the thumbnail. <laughs> Thumbnails are very important uh, for those of you who are considering doing your own videos. You got to get a nice picture for it. Okay. And landing it. Bumpity bump. That is a flight of my tarantula with its uh, new anti vibration mount. I hope that works. <laughs> we'll see if that reduced the jello. Anyways, this is Quadcopter 101. Hope you enjoyed this flight. Signing out.